Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today it's time for the Russians. We also have a little treat. We're going to be playing out a custom mission on a desert map just to get the real feel, you know, especially for one of the helicopters you can see in the bottom left. Um, but we'll be engaged in kind of like how it would be in a battle. But there'll be AIs, but we'll kind of get a feel. Hope you guys enjoyed last video. Thank you for the support on it. This has got to be one of the, the least threatening looking helicopters I've ever seen. I mean, it looks like a school bus. Like, th th this, is, this is what, you know, Russian CEO children get picked up to go to school. But that's only for a short amount of time. But then you, you, you start to look down and you can, oh my gosh, please don't, don't tell me Ivan's in there. Why does Ivan always sign up for these jobs? Why is he even in there? That must be... I, I... That's... Okay. I see they have taken the TB3 technology and incorporated it into the MI4V. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that gun later. Let's start with the top um, weapon system we have on board. Uh, we have four ATGMs. And these are going to be... Let's see here... Don't look at that one yet. Sorry. These are going to be 9M17Ms that we have 400. No, no, that's armor. Huh, okay. We don't have the information about this uh, ATGM yet, so we can't see the penetration values. But we do have the missile performance stats and the TNT equivalent, 4.32 kilograms, which is definitely enough to potentially one-shot opponent with a you know really good shot for... Um, Vital, vital crew members or ammo, but with that amount of kilograms of um, TNT, I would say on average a two-shot kill. And then we have a little lower than that, a, a beautiful looking rocket pod uh, that has not, not, not 96, not 96, 96 S5K, uh, pretty much uh, Hydra's pretty much, it's just a heat missile. And from playing with the Cobra early today, uh, these are not to be taken lightly. These are extremely effective. I would even say these are more effective at killing tanks than the ATGMs. However, you know they would, you know they they, they put you at a you know bigger risk because you don't you, you can't stay at. Sorry, I'm really excited today, guys. I'm really really excited. Um, just because you got to get closer with them. So 400 millimeters a pen at zero degrees, and it goes down to 199 at 60. And then uh, we have Ivan. Absolutely ridiculous. I I am so glad Russia is a country. So glad. Because we, we would never get just this shit. And look at this engine right here. Look at that broad. Look at that shaft. Oh, okay. They, they do call them propellers. I always like... But whenever I call them propellers, people are like, that's not propellers. They're blades or whatever. Okay, but uh, guys, this is uh, the M24V. Known as the Hein, but a lot of people call it the crocodile. Don't don't judge me, guys. Just 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 don't judge me. All right, um, now 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 we can proceed. I just I just had to do that. Okay, on this uh, helicopter we have looks ooh we got some tubes here. Got some big old God. This lineup right or this setup looks like a real true balanced attack helicopter and then we have a rotary 12.7 millimeter machine gun yak b it's called so let's start off with these so these are ju these are just going to be our uh, rocket pods and these are pretty much going to be yeah just like okay these are the su s80 or 8ko rockets pretty much just like the other heat missiles in the game extremely deadly extremely accurate but you got to get close and uh this this is Russia at its finest. They put a 500 kilogram bomb on a helicopter, a hell of a chopper. So what's gonna? I mean, I I would never do this just for fear that you know I would, I would be too close. Hopefully we're able to set up. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to. I'm gonna be setting like a five second delay so I can drop and get out of there. However, if you are going top speed, which this is the fastest helicopter in the game, you should be fine. Okay, so those are the bombs, and then let's move on to uh, these things. 9M114 have eight of them. That's our max loadout. 650 millimeters of pen. So nothing's going to be safe from, from this ATGM. And having eight of them, I wouldn't 
I don't think we would need more than three for like, you know, an Abrams or something like that. So with this, you have the ability to kill two main battle tanks at 9.0 without even getting touched, without even getting looked at, without, gosh, extremely effective. Luckily, they didn't go for the 12 number here. Oh my gosh, that would be absolutely ridiculous. And then we have a eight times or additional eight cannons on board. And these are the GS-8s, the ones that the MiG-21 uses. That's a scary guy. That's a, that's a scary MI-24V. So I guess these would be good at dealing with anti-air or um, other you know, lightly armed, armored targets. And for head-ons, don't go head-on with this, guys. Do not go head up with it. Uh, but honestly, I think the best lineup, the best modification right here is uh, this one. Four ATGMs. Oops, sorry, not not that one. Excuse me. Here it is. Four ATGMs, then 80 of these uh, SUS 8KO rockets. Here we are. Here is the custom battle. We're gonna put the Mi-24 through its paces, pretty much to simulate what a real battle would be like without like the big threat of people trying to shoot us down constantly. But I will take it low, and I'll see if the AIs want to shoot at it. Can I respond at? Ooh, helipad. Okay. Speaking speaking my language. Minimum fuel for the 52 minutes. And spawn it in. Yeah, this looks like a strict helibase. No, well, there's a small little runway. I don't know what that's for, just so you don't have to take off vertically or land vertically. You can kind of come in like an aircraft. Sweet, okay. But the helipad is much closer to the battle than the airfield, which is a really nice, nice thing that they have done. Oh, man, absolutely gorgeous. Look how close it is. There's a battle. There's the helipad. Thank gosh they actually thought about that. I didn't put it way back here. That would be a, an extreme hassle. Now, one thing I didn't show you in my first video is the ability to lock... Um, not lock a target, but lock a pixel, I guess you would say. So what I would... Let, let's say I wanted to use an ATGM right here. And someone was stationary, and, and I didn't want to have to keep aiming it like this. What I can do is I can press F for respects and get it locked like that. And now, now now, it's good to go. Now at some point, this will break off. You know, if, if, if you go if you go too past the target. But for right now, we can, we, we can stay tracked. Now this might be a derpy missile lock just because our missiles are facing forward and this is the leftward shot. Let's try it. Try, trying to nullify it, there we go. Oh my god, there we go. Um, at the last second, our uh, lock unlocked. So that's why I did that. But let's uh, just stay here. Okay, locked. Missile, wait. So it makes aiming at a target extremely, or a lot easier, than if you had it off, where you, know, you had to kind of aim like this. So I don't really know how I feel about that. I think they should, you know, maybe put a skill in for it. Okay, we're too high now. I mean, I guess it's realistic-ish, but it, it might be a little bit too, too powerful for the helicopter pilots. Okay, we're going to do a nice sharp turn here. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, Panther said, no, <laughs> no, ATGMs are gone, time for the heat missiles. Oh my god, there goes, dude, that was a lot of explosive mass. Now this is cool. Okay, ready to engage. We just got to the battle. Heat rockets are ready again. We're gonna slow her down. We have a little more time on target. And here we go for a Panther two. Good 
Contact got him down. I'm telling you, these hydras or these heat missiles. Do you have time with them? They're they're extremely lethal. Okay, sharp turn here. Let's go for that M46. Oh, that must be crazy to feel. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Okay, or screw you, M46. Now what we'll do here is that I'll go for Alpha because it's not being contested with that. That that sort of might get there while I'm trying to land and make it look like I'm capping. No one saw that. Just, just forget about that. We're gonna try it again here. This is looking like a much better approach. Come on, stay, 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 stay left. There we go. Oh wow. Oh, oh, gear, 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 gear. Yeah, let's not, let's, let's not forget about that again. Get a little bit forward. We're gonna watch out for this machine gun here, the anti-air position. And like this is this is how it work. You just land right here. Watch out for my... Oh, we got so close. Oh, my God. Oh, my... No, no, I am capping. This is Alpha. I am capping Alpha. But now this stupid T-44 is coming in here. Look how dummy is. It's, and it would be Hans. I'm just kidding. Hans is respectable. Okay, well, screw this. Come on, power, power, power. Okay, T-44. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of scary right there. Just cleared some uh, enemies near Alpha. Now we're going to try again, though, for a full cap. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Still, though, I'm waiting for them to add tow rope so I can fly or drag an AU AS-57 through the, the sky. I will make a video once that happens and let you know. All right, guys. Have a great day. Until next time, peace out.